How you doing, people? Welcome back to the Serene Madness channel. Uh, today is a tagged video. Brother Lampire, Lampire put out um, a video the other day tagging people to talk about your three favorite improvised weapons in movies. So, I'm going to take a shot at it. Here we go. Uh, the, my third favorite would be the Steven Seagal movie Under Siege where he is being chased on the battleship by the bad guys. And he goes into the kitchen and he makes a bomb out of a microwave with a mug some um, it was steel wool, a mug, and I think he used bleach or some kind of cleaner. I'm not exactly sure what he used, but he put it all in the mug and he stuck it in the microwave, turned it on, and the bad guys came into the room and the microwave exploded. No more bad guys. That was my third one. Okay, my second one is in the movie From Dust Till Dawn when they get attacked by the vampires and they all run down to the end of the hallway to the storage room and they're all about to go batshit crazy on the vampires that are out in the main room so they have to come up with a bunch of weapons for that they find from inside the room George Clooney and Harry Keitel make a they take a jackhammer that they found in the back room and they make a they make a wooden spike and they stick it into the end of the jackhammer so it becomes a jack ham a wooden jackhammer vampire spike weapon it was pretty stinking cool so I like that one my first one would be in um, circa 1987 a movie came out called Real Men and it starred John Ritter and Jim Belushi and it was a uh, kind of like a Men in Black kind of movie where Jim Belushi was working for the CIA and he was a spy kind of deal and he was sent in to protect John Ritter who had some kind of information and it had to do with aliens and they were, there was a scene where they were in a garage, John Ritter's garage and there was all these bad guys outside the house. So as the two are talking, John Ritter and Jim Belushi are talking, Jim Belushi's rushing around the, you know, scurrying around the garage, grabbing all kinds of parts and things, and he puts together out of like a drill, a uh, band-aid container, some zip ties or something, and a box of nails, and some bits and pieces from like a vacuum cleaner and a couple other things, a wire coat hanger, and he puts it all together, machine gun out of all these parts that shoots nails. He goes outside and basically uses his machine gun deal, his nail shooting machine gun, and he just kills all the bad guys and chases them away. So that's probably my favorite improvised weapon. Um, there's, I also have a bonus, a fourth one, which is actually for you, Brother Vampire. There was a movie that I just recently saw called Blubberella, which is a comedy. It was basically a take on the movie Blade, set in Europe. And it was this big, large female woman. Kind of, she was a vampire killer. And during one scene, she was getting a massage and they were using rolling pins because something along that line so during her massage the rolling pin that they were using to massage her with disappears into parts unknown they take out a second one and they start massaging her again it's the second um, rolling pin disappears so in the next scene, 
they were in some kind of a brothel or something like that. And there were some bad guys in there and they were about to throw down. So all of a sudden, Blubberella didn't have a weapon. So she reaches down into the nether regions, or basically her butt, and she pulls out the two rolling pins. Then she proceeds to use them as a scream of sticks and beats the tar out of the bad guys. So that's like my bonus. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.